Honorable Marcy Phillips, a lifelong community organizer, was born on December 18, 1958 in Ivory Coast, Abidjan, West Africa. She moved to Paris, France at the age of 13. At the tender age of 15, she migrated to the United States in the late 80s. In the early 90s, Marcy moved to the city of Newark. Soon after, she fell in love with the uniqueness of America's most diverse city residents of African-American Africans, mostly from West Africa, Spanish, Portuguese, Brazilian, and so on. Honorable Marcy Phillips decided to settle down and completed her GED. In her quest to fulfill her passion to help others, she decided to lend her skills to the people of Newark. That aspiration landed her in City Hall of Newark in 1998. By 1999, she is deeply embedded in the political arena of Newark. She became the first born African woman from a non-speaking English country of Ivory Coast to venture into politics of City of Newark. Honorable Marcy became the go-to community person in charge to bring Africans and women in Newark and its surroundings to the forefront of contending issues. She has been a female role model encouraging thousands over the years, an experienced community organizer and serving the public, a trait she picked up from her parents who always encouraged her to be thoughtful of others first. Years after getting her GED, raised her kids, encouraged others to go to school and sending six kids to universities, she embarked on one of the most ambitious and courageous journeys to demonstrate to younger women and youths, if she can go back to school, anyone can do it without reservations or excuses. In 2015, she earned her associate degree in business management from Essex County College, bachelor's in public administration and women's studies 2018 from Newark Rutgers University, and still working on her master's and onto her PhD in a nonprofit organization at Newark Rutgers University. Marcia, she is commonly called. When asked how she did it, she calmly replied, nothing worthy in it comes easily. Honorable Marcy Phillips, a people's person, and first to many challenges to break barriers as minority around Newark. She currently enjoys the prestigious executive position of President and Executive Officer of African and American Alliance, a renowned community-based 501c3 organization she helped found over 15 years ago.